Hi, I'm Ryan Nutter with Cornerstone Senior Advisors, and each day we walk people through the process of Medicare, helping them find the right plan to fit their needs at the right price. And today we are going to be discussing Medicare Advantage. What are Medicare Advantage plans, also known as Part C? Medicare Advantage, they say, is a different way to receive your Medicare benefits. So when I say a different way to receive your Medicare benefits, what happens is the government's handing responsibility for your health insurance off to a private insurance company. So let's say you sign up with Company Y and their Advantage plan. The government's handing you off and, you're, and you're, the responsibility of managing your health care, they're handing that off to Company Y. They are now responsible, fully responsible for your health insurance. They are managing your health care. And one of the advantages to doing that, one of the things that a lot of people like about Medicare Advantage plans and what's so attractive uh, about them is they can be less to no premium. When I say less to no premium, so often they are zero premium plans. So you sign up with a Medicare Advantage plan, you don't have any added premium uh, that you're paying each month. And the reason they're able to do that is you still pay your Part B premium. So when I talk about Part B premium, when you're on Medicare, if you're drawing Social Security, they're drawing that Part B premium out of your Social Security check every month. They just draw that out. And they're still going to do that if you sign up with a Medicare Advantage plan. But instead of sticking with Medicare, they're going to pass that premium off to Company Y. Because you signed up with their Medicare Advantage plan, they're managing your health care, they get that premium that's coming out of your Social Security check. Also, the government is subsidizing Company Y every month you have the plan because they're not paying for your claims. So essentially what the government's doing is they're rolling the dice. They're going to say in the long run, we're going to save money because we're not having to pay for your claims. So between the Part B premium that Company Y gets and the subsidy from the government, that's how they can, they can offer you this plan that's, that may be a zero premium plan. If it does charge a premium, oftentimes it's pretty minimal and very manageable. So that's how they can do that. And that's one of the big benefits that people really like with these Medicare Advantage plans. Now, another benefit is there's no health questions. If you want to sign up with a Medicare Advantage plan, you can just sign up. You don't have to go through a list of health questions that you have to answer and sit on the fence wondering, are they going to take you or not? If you sign up, they will take you. You will be covered. So there's no health questions. Now, these Advantage plans are different from original Medicare because they are network plans. With original Medicare, you can go to any facility in the U.S. If it takes Medicare, you're covered. You don't have to worry about a network. With Advantage plans, that's not the case. They are network plans. That means you need to figure out in your area what plans are offered and also do they take your primary, does your primary care doctor take company Y? Do they take that plan you signed up with? Do any specialists that you may go to take the Advantage plan with Company Y that you signed up with? Does the hospital that you're going to end up in, do they take the Advantage plan? Those are really important questions that you need to ask when you're trying to decide do you sign up with a Medicare Advantage plan or not, is they are network plans. And there's a couple of the, the primary network type of, types of network plans that you could, you could sign up with are HMOs, PPOs. HMOs are a little bit more limiting. You can't go see a specialist without your primary care doctor referring you to the specialist. Also, they're not going to pay anything outside the network unless it's an emergency. And with a PPO, you don't have to have the referral with your primary care doctor. And you can go outside of network, but you're going to pay a higher out-of-pocket cost when you go outside the network. So those are a couple of the really popular types of network plans that you can look at with Medicare Advantage. While we're on the top of topic of network, one thing I just want you to know is it, it, these plans are designed specific to your area and where you're living. So what that means is if you move, even if it's in the same state, but you move from one county to another, that can limit you as far as what Advantage plans are offered. And it may be that the plan that you're on isn't in the county that you moved to. And so you're going to have to change your plan. You're going to have to move to this county, see what plans are available in that county, and decide which plan you should go with because that plan that you're moving that you had when you started out wherever you were living previously that's if that's not offered in the county next to you or wherever you're moving to you're going to have to change plans so they are network plans now there's some other added benefits to medicare advantage plans a lot of these plans have that people really like it's not just about the zero premium or less premium that you're able to get with these advantage plans, but they also a lot of times offer drug coverage. If you just have original Medicare, you have to get a standalone drug plan and you're paying a monthly premium for that drug plan to make sure your medications are covered. With Medicare Advantage plans, a lot of them have drug plans 
drug coverage included on the Advantage plan. So that saves you that monthly premium that you're paying for that drug coverage. Also, many of these plans offer dental insurance. Many of them offer vision insurance. A lot of these plans offer hearing. These are all added benefits that Medicare does not cover. This is something else a lot of people like about these Advantage plans. Another thing that is very popular with these Advantage plans is you get a silver sneakers card. If you've heard people, your friends, your neighbors, talk about silver sneakers, this is how you get silver sneakers. This is with Medicare Advantage plans. And what happens is these silver sneakers cards give you free access to YMCAs. And just a lot of gyms in your area will take the silver sneakers card. You have free access to these gyms, which is really convenient for a lot of people. So these are, and not all Advantage plans will offer all of these benefits. It's something for you to look into and do a little homework, which we can help you with. We can help you understand what plans are available in your area, what benefits they, they offer, and if they may are a good fit for you. And the network size, are your doctors accepting this plan? Those are things that we can walk with you through and help you understand and find the right Advantage plan for you if it's something that you want to do and a, and a direction you want to take. Now, one thing I really want you to understand with these Medicare Advantage plans is I always tell people they are moving targets. And what I mean by moving targets is these plans change year to year. So if you sign up with a Medicare Advantage plan and company Y is the, is the plan that makes the most sense for you this year, that may not be the best plan for you for next year because they're going to change their drug plan. So now their drug plan's not covering your medications as well as they were the year before. They're going to change maybe their, their network. What pharmacies are they working with? What doctors are accept, accepting them? Maybe they're changing their per day copay in the hospital. You end up in the hospital, you're going to pay a per day copay, copay on these Advantage plans. That can vary how much you're paying year to year. So these plans are moving targets. And the best plan option for you, if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan, the best plan option for you this year may not be the best plan option for you for next year. So in the annual enrollment period, October 15th through December 7th, this is something we really need to look at is, is this still the best plan for you? Is there another company, maybe company Z has come out with an option that's actually a better option for you based on network, based on out-of-pocket costs, based on your medications, and then you want to pull the trigger and make that switch. So they are moving targets is something to look at. With Medicare Advantage plans, you can save quite a bit of money. You can get some added benefits on these plans, potentially, depending on what plans are offered in your area. You are going to be paying as you go with Medicare Advantage plans. Instead of Medicare with a supplement, you're going to have some co-pays. You're going to have a max out of pocket of maybe $6,000 or $4,000. It could be higher or lower. They're just something to really research and dig into and figure out what's the best plan option for you. Does this make sense for you? And that's something I would be happy to dialogue with you about. If you would call us at 316-260-3331, I would be more than happy to look at your area. What plan options do you have and help you make that decision? Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful.